In the ancient world, there existed a mysterious kingdom that the Egyptians often traveled when they needed to procure luxurious gifts for their pharaohs. Imagine a grand, ancient shopping mall full of rare and exotic treasures. This was the land of Punt, a place renowned for its wealth and abundance of high-value goods. The land of Punt supplied Egypt with a variety of luxury items, including gold, aromatic resins, blackwood, ebony, ivory, and even exotic animals like leopards and baboons. Any of these would have made a perfect gift for royalty. Punt was not just any trading partner, it was Egypt's most important trading ally for more than a thousand years. But despite its prominence in ancient times, this great kingdom has not survived into the present day, leaving historians and archaeologists with more questions than answers. One of the most intriguing aspects of Punt is that no one knows its exact location. It vanished long ago, and no definitive trace of it remains today. We know about Punt primarily through the records left behind by the ancient Egyptians. Some of the most famous accounts come from the temple of Queen Hatshepsut, who led an expedition to Punt during her reign. For over 150 years, modern scientists have been trying to pinpoint the precise location of this once thriving kingdom. There are several theories about where it might have been situated. Some believe Punt was located to the southeast of Egypt, in a coastal region along the Red Sea, the Gulf of Aden, or even the Indian Ocean. Others argue that Punt could have spanned the Horn of Africa, extending across the sea into parts of southern Arabia. But after centuries of speculation, modern researchers have finally started to narrow down Punt's location, thanks to the study of baboon mummies. Baboons held a special place in ancient Egyptian culture. They were revered and thought to be connected to the gods, particularly deities associated with the moon and wisdom. One species, known as the sacred baboon, was often depicted in wall paintings, sitting with its tail curled to the right. This species was frequently mummified in this distinctive position. Another type of baboon, the olive baboon, was mummified in a more straightforward manner, wrapped in a single, large cocoon-like covering. Both species have been found in tombs, particularly in the Valley of the Kings. But here's the catch, baboons are not native to Egypt. So, how did they get there? The answer lies in trade, and likely with punt. Primatologists, Egyptologists, geographers, and geochemists joined forces to study mummified baboons from two distinct periods in ancient Egyptian history, the New Kingdom period and the Ptolemaic period. These scientists conducted detailed analyses of the baboons, examining the tissues of these mummies and comparing them to modern baboons from various regions. They measured elements such as oxygen and strontium in the baboon's remains. You see, when animals drink water and consume plants, their teeth, bones, and hair preserve geographic signatures that tell scientists where these animals lived. Using this method, known as isotopic mapping, the researchers were able to trace the origins of the New Kingdom baboons to a region that likely includes Eritrea, Ethiopia, or Somalia. Five mummified baboons from the Ptolemaic period, however, had strontium levels that matched those found in Egypt, suggesting that, by this time, Egyptians may have begun breeding and keeping baboons domestically, possibly in the city of Memphis, the one in Egypt, not Tennessee. While the land of Punt remains shrouded in mystery, halfway across the globe, paleontologists in New Zealand have been uncovering ancient secrets of their own. Millions of years ago, during an era when dinosaurs roamed the earth, massive penguins dominated the oceans. Recently, researchers stumbled upon fossils of the largest penguin species ever to have existed. These ancient penguins were true giants. Today's largest penguin, the emperor penguin, weighs between 55 and 100 pounds. But these prehistoric penguins are believed to have weighed an astounding 340 pounds. 
They roamed the oceans around New Zealand more than 50 million years ago, after the extinction of the dinosaurs. With no major predators to threaten them, these colossal, flightless birds thrived in the frigid waters of the southern oceans. Their massive size would have helped them stay warm, allowing them to travel vast distances and conquer the cold, unchallenged by any rivals. As we move from the seas to the land, another fascinating discovery was made in China in 1992. Four farmers were busy draining their ponds when they stumbled across something completely unexpected. No, it wasn't a treasure chest filled with gold or ancient statues, but rather the Longayu Caves, 24 massive, man-made caverns, constructed with incredible precision. These caves are remarkable for several reasons. Despite their enormous size and their clear evidence of human craftsmanship, no one knows who built them, how they were built, or why. Even more puzzling is the fact that these caves aren't mentioned in any historical records, despite being estimated to be at least 2,000 years old. Each cavern has a similar design, with a single entrance connected to a vertical shaft and a carved staircase. Rainwater from the surface flows into the caves, and there are intricate systems of grooves and channels to manage the water flow. It seems the ancient builders were masters of water management, creating systems far more advanced than one would expect for their time. These caves were built beneath a hill named after a bird revered in Chinese mythology, symbolizing virtue, grace, and balance. Some experts believe there may be a connection between the caves and this mythological bird, but for now, this remains only a theory. Meanwhile, underwater, a team of researchers from India made another groundbreaking discovery. While conducting routine pollution surveys using sonar technology, they found what appeared to be the remains of a vast underwater city. The team used advanced sonar imaging to map large, geometric structures on the ocean floor. Upon further exploration, they retrieved a wealth of artifacts, including pottery, beads, sculptures, fragments of walls, and even human bones and teeth. These findings led them to believe that this underwater site could predate the Indus Valley Civilization, one of the earliest known urban cultures in the region. However, not everyone was quick to celebrate. Some archaeologists were skeptical, claiming that the artifacts could have been displaced by ancient rivers rather than being evidence of an ancient civilization. Nevertheless, the researchers tested a piece of wood recovered from the site and found it to be 9,500 years old. This remarkable find suggests that the site could be even older than previously thought, potentially reshaping our understanding of ancient human history. Despite this, the harsh underwater conditions, with dangerous currents and rip tides, have made it challenging to explore the site further. Moving from the ocean floor to the frozen wilderness of Antarctica, geologists from the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee have been making exciting discoveries of their own. Climbing the frozen slopes of the McIntyre Promontory in the Transantarctic Mountains, the team uncovered fossils from an ancient forest, revealing a time when the frozen continent was lush with greenery. These fossils, which are more than 260 million years old, offer a rare glimpse into life during the Permian period, long before the first dinosaurs appeared. At the end of the Permian period, over 90% of life on Earth perished in a mass extinction event. These ancient trees, which once flourished in what is now Antarctica, were hardy survivors, but they, too, eventually fell victim to the changing environment, driven by an increase in carbon dioxide and methane. The discovery of this ancient polar forest offers valuable insights into Earth's prehistoric climate and ecosystems, and it may even help us better understand the environmental factors that triggered the mass extinction event. At Waves Discovery, we are dedicated to exploring these incredible stories from history and uncovering the hidden mysteries of our planet. Whether it's the lost kingdom of Punt, the giant penguins of New Zealand, the enigmatic Long Ayo Caves, or the ancient forests of Antarctica, each discovery gives us a deeper understanding of the world and the incredible forces that have shaped it. 
Join us on this journey of discovery as we continue to explore the wonders of the past and unlock the secrets of history. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this exploration of the unknown, be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Waves Discovery for more captivating stories. Stay curious, and until next time.